Hi there, this is Rick from my Uber Income. In this video, I will show you how to purchase a license and how to use the app. But first of all, I would like to mention that no other app offers so much for so less. My Uber Income is the only truly Uber dedicated app. All the apps are extremely limited and, we, and you will need at least a couple of apps running together to get basic information. And these apps are not cheap, you will be spending hundreds of dollars per year. My Uber income is the best value for money and the most complete tool out there. Alright, so let's get started. First head to myuberincome.com.au Click in the app. You can try the demonstration app first. The demonstration app doesn't require a license but all cells are locked. Requirements for the My Uber income app are Windows and Excel. So this is the demonstration app. The only cells that are not locked are the methods. So you can have a better idea how my Uber income looks like. So if you like it, you can purchase a license securely via PayPal uh, for only $10. Um, the activation code will be sent instantly via email after the purchase. So add one unit and check out with PayPal. You receive by mail your activation code. Activation code is just over here. Copy. Head back to the website to download the full version. This app version is the 3.0 for the 2018-2019 financial year and was released in July 2018. So I will run the app for the first time. I will insert my activation code. First time you will use the um, spreadsheet, just choose original workbook. Uh, for this demonstration, I will choose a file that has data already. All right, so that's the app. The first tab is called user guide. Uh, we have a few buttons at the top. Explanations about this, uh, these buttons are in the app section. So you have an uh, explanation about the app, how the app works. At the bottom, you will see explanations about the logbook tab, income, expenses, and summary tabs. Uh, you also have uh, how uh, the updates work, uh, support, about disclaimers, information links, and tax rates. The next tab is the logbook tab. There are three methods to record your logbook, uh, full, partial, or predefined. Definitely uh, full is the uh, most complicated one as you'll be recording your mileage through the whole year, but uh, at the same time give you more information. Um, the next method is the partial, which you will just record for the minimum 12 weeks as per uh, ATO requirement. Or if you already have a logbook, you already know your business usage, you can just type it over here. So in this example, we'll uh, choose full. And at the top, that's the summary for the year. And just over here are the on-trip mileage fields. So this will give you actually uh, what is your dead mileage, which you can find the summary tab. I will show you later. The next tab is the income tab. There are two methods to record your income, weekly or monthly. If you have an uh, auto contract uh, income, and if you are an employee, you can uh, insert your income over here. So let's start with the monthly method. So first of all, we need to head to the Uber website. If you click this button, it will take you to the Uber Partner website. So select tax summary, choose the year and the month, 
and go back to the spreadsheet. So the first field is the gross affairs, which here for me was 65.02. Next field for me is the city fee at 7.67. And booking fee at 2.75. That equals to 75.44. And next uh, fields for me are the Uber service fee, which is 14.30. Order charges at 2.75. And third parties, 7.67. That's how you fill your monthly, uh, in the monthly method. So the weekly method, back to the Weber website, but this time we will select payment statements. We we'll select the week. The first screen you will find the completed trips and the online hours. So that's uh, for week uh, uh, 25 of, 25th of June to the 1st of July which is in the f last week of the fourth quarter. So period ending one of seven. Completed trips were um, five and one hour and 31 minutes. So five in one hour and 31 minutes equals to 1.5 hours. 1.5. So the next um, information we will find in the statements, select the week and view statement. So most of the information is on the right side, but if you're in the software, we will find the levy just over here. So let's uh, start with the fare, 63.57. Next field for me is the wait time, 1.45. Next field is uh, Uber fee. It's minus 14.30. Next uh, is uh, booking fee, 2.75. And booking fee deduction minus 2.75. CTP charge, 2.17. Transport levy, 5.50. And riders fee, minus 7.67. So that equals to 50.72. The total is over here. Which also means that I did uh, $33.81 per hour. Alright, next section is the um, order contractor income area. So if you don't have, you can just uh, hide it. But if you have, you can just uh, select yes. So these two fields over here, the type and the GST, you just select from a Dropbox. If it's an income expense of income and expense, if it's just in inclusive or exclusive, uh, and here you type what is the description of the values. At the top here, you will see the summary. More explanation about this you can find in the user guide. Next tab is the expenses tab. It's pretty straightforward. There's a summary at the top. Uh, click here to know uh, to learn more about uh, Uber deductions, which kind of uh, deductions you can you can make. So the first columns are related to few. So you just insert the date, value, and GST. Uh, next one's uh, all the expenses related to your car. So date, description of the expense, value, if it's just included, yes or no. Next columns are the business only. So this will be 100% allocated as a business expenses expense. So again, date, description, value, GST inclusive, and now you have a tax claimable field, yes or no, GST. And just at the very right of the screen, you will find the car depreciation calculator and the home office calculator. And the final tab is the summary tab. So uh, at the top, we will find the dashboard, the Uber dashboard, which will remind you when your next best uh, due date is. 
I would like to highlight a few uh, fields over here instead of going through all of them, which is uh, um, your net income per hour and uh, uh, how much you need to allocate aside from your payout to pay all your expenses and GST and taxes. Uh, so this is the net income and how much um, pay, uh, uh, how much tax you will pay in the end of the financial year. Here a couple of charts about the Uber payout. So 54% uh, of my Uber payout, so what I received in my bank account, was actually net income, and 14% I used for expenses. Um, the next chart is expenses tab. So 59% uh, of my expenses were uh, in the end of financial year uh, was the tax return. Another 20% was the GST and all the uh, expenses over there. So uh, we would like, I would like to also highlight here the BAS section. So when you lo uh, log in your BAS, uh, these are the sections you'll be looking at. Um, Uber's uh, tax summary. So everything you inserted in the income tab will be, uh, th that's, that's the summary. So expenses summary. Everything about GST is just over here. Uh, if you choose the weekly method, that's the summary. And um, again, if you choose, choose the weekly method, you will find averages over here. Um, if you have a order contractor income, that's the summary. And if you choose your local book method as full, you will have uh, some important information over here. And just uh, at the top and right side, you will find tax return uh, information. Um, incomes combined information, which means your Uber income if you have another contractor income and if you are an uh, uh, employee, if you, um, the, the, this field will give you all the com incomes combined and uh, employee income. And that's all for this video. Thank you very much for your time and bye-bye.